Hello and welcome back to another price prediction video and today we're diving into Arbitrum and giving you a price prediction for what we believe will be the height of the next bull market towards the end of 2025. But as always, before we jump into today's topic, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below, like this video if you enjoy the content and hit the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date with all of the latest content in the crypto space and hit your crypto goals. We are dropping multiple videos every single week, so you're going to want to get notified when those videos drop. So let's jump into today's topic, which is a price prediction for Arbitrum. And as always, we're going to do a little bit of analysis on Arbitrum to explain what it is before we dive into the price prediction towards the end of the video so make sure you watch all the way until the end for the actual price prediction. So as always, we're going to look at the fundamentals. We're going to look at the different narratives. We're going to look at a little bit of technical analysis. We're going to look at their team and the tokenomics before delivering our ultimate price prediction. So from a fundamental perspective, what is Arbitrum? Well, Arbitrum is a layer two scaling solution for the Ethereum network and as much as you might love Ethereum or as much as you might be an Ethereum bull, it cannot be denied that Ethereum has its scaling problems <clears throat> and its transaction or sorry, its gas fees are um, extremely high, especially when we get more transaction volume on the network, especially when we get towards, um, you know, the busier times during the bull market. You know, even in the last bull cycle, Ethereum fees were absolutely crazy for gas. So what Arbitrum aims to do, similar to the likes of Polygon and other layer two solutions, is Arbitrum is a scaling solution that essentially uses its technology to uh, have transactions happening on its chain before rolling them up to the Ethereum chain uh, where they are eventually settled. So it acts as a way for much more scalable transactions to happen in a much faster manner at a much lower cost per transaction than if you were doing the actual same transactions on the native Ethereum chain. So there are three main products um, within the Arbitrum ecosystem are the Arbitrum Rollup, Arbitrum Orbit, and the Arbitrum AnyTrust. So, you know, basically... Arbitrum and other layer twos are allowing developers and allowing people to use and create decentralized apps and decentralized infrastructure in the way that was originally intended for Ethereum. But, you know, even though Ethereum has moved to proof of stake with Ethereum 2.0, we still have not fully um, gotten over those scaling issues and the gas fees still being substantially higher than something, something like using Arbitrum. So at its fundamental level, that's what Arbitr Arbitrum is. Um, some of the high level metrics they advertise on their website are the fact that they've saved over two and a half million in ETH for developers and people transacting using the Arbitrum network. There is over 670,000 active wallets, over $11 billion in total value locked. Um, they currently hold just under 50% of the layer two market share and have done over 628 million total transactions. So that's kind of a high level of Arbitrum by the numbers. And as we move over to think about the different narratives that Arbitrum is a part of, I think the core ones that we would identify here would be Ethereum. Um, it's part of the Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, it's a layer two and of course, decentralized finance. And when we look at decentralized finance in particular and we look at some of the total value locked across all of the different chains what we see is arbitrum actually in fourth place behind only ethereum tron and binance smart chain with a total value locked of over three billion dollars and that is one billion dollars more than solana itself which is crazy to think about given the fact that Solana has such a high market cap compared to something like Arbitrum and really leads me to believe that Arbitrum is highly undervalued when it comes to um, 
when it comes to thinking about how much total value is locked in Arbitrum from a DeFi perspective and comparing that to some of the other massive chains like Solana. So the pie chart breakdown shows us that, of course, Ethereum has, you know, the vast majority of total value locked in DeFi. Then we've got Tron with 11%, Binance Smart Chain with 5%, and Arbitrum just under 4% of the total value locked across all chains in DeFi. So, you know, Arbitrum is ranked currently, I think, 44 in the overall market cap when it comes to all of the different coins. So um, Solana is number three or number four based on total market cap when it comes to all of the different cryptocurrencies in the market, whereas Arbitrum is number 44. So it is way behind Solana in terms of market cap, but vastly outperforming something like Solana when it comes to the DeFi ecosystem. So very interesting to keep that in mind. You know, it's always worth thinking about the fundamentals behind these projects and looking at some of the data um, and the on-chain technical analysis when it comes to making our price prediction. So when it comes to technical analysis, as we said, um, Arbitrum has a total market cap of 2.3 billion. It's currently sitting at number 44 in terms of overall market cap. Its maximum supply is 10 billion Arbitrum but the current circulating supply is only about 1.275 billion Arbitrum. So when it comes to price action and price discovery, um, the Arbitrum mainnet only launched in 2023, and we saw a little bit of a peak with pricing um, in April, May of last year, but had been on a pretty steady downtrend since then until about Q4 of 2023, when we started to see things pick up again, and that is the case with a lot of these different altcoins, we saw a big pickup in Q3 of, or sorry, Q4 of 2023. But Arbitrum's all-time high price currently sits at $2.34, which was locked in on January 10th of this year, just over a month ago. It has um, declined a little bit since then, but bounced back from about $1.60 and is currently sitting at around $1.83. So, you know, we haven't really seen a huge amount of upwards price discovery for Arbitrum, um, given the fact that it only launched in the beginning of 2023 and was on very, you know, very much a downtrend for most of 2023. And we only saw those tied turn in Q4 of last year, and we're starting to see that upwards price discovery. So, you know, it's a little bit difficult to think about um, the technical analysis here because we don't have a huge amount of history to go by, and we don't have price data from the previous bull cycle in 2021 to go on. So, you know, worth noting that it's put at all-time highs at $2.34. We've retraced to $1.83, but I think still a lot of upside potential here as Arbitrum continues to make upwards price discovery over the next few months. Next up, we're going to look at their team very briefly, but basically, um, I think Offchain Labs is basically the parent organization behind Arbitrum, and Offchain Labs and Arbitrum is basically being led by these three gentlemen, Ed Felton, Stephen Goldfeeder, and Harry Kalodner. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing those names correctly, but basically, these guys have um, a large amount of cryptography, blockchain experience. I think a couple of them have PhDs um, and have gotten doctorates and PhDs from the likes of Princeton University. So they seem to be a very intelligent team of people behind the project with a good deal of blockchain experience. And again, I don't, I haven't done more of a deep dive into the team itself, but from a surface level analysis, it seems like some very intelligent people behind the Arbitrum network. And ultimately, they're focused on solving this real world problem. Like Ethereum has these scaling problems. It has problems with the gas fees and Arbitrum is solving a, a problem that already exists and is doing a very efficient job at it. So these guys are pretty smart. They're solving a very... Um, they're solving a problem that has a lot of need behind it because people do not want to pay the extortionate gas fees on the Ethereum network. And they've made something and they've made it and created a technology 
that does that um, in a very efficient way. So finally, let's look at the tokenomics before we actually come on to the price prediction. As we mentioned, um, Arbitrum has a total supply of 10 billion Arbitrum. There are only 1.275 billion in circulation as of right now. I think the next, um, the next upcoming token distribution is going to be happening in March in less than a month. I think it's happening on around March 16th of this year. So let's see. Sorry. Yes, it is. Upcoming event, March 16th, where there will be another token unlock for the Arbitrum network. So there will be more tokens coming into circulation as of March. And um, the way that we've got this broken down in terms of token allocation for Arbitrum is uh, about 34% for the uh, Arbitrum DAO Treasury, about 26% for the team and future team and advisors, 17.5% for investors, 11.6% for individual wallets, which will probably increase as more come into circulation. 9% um, for the DAO Treasury, that's in there twice, I'm not sure why that's there twice. Um, and then the DAOs in our Arbitrum ecosystem, 1.1%. So personally, I would like to see a little bit more allocation towards individual wallets and retail investors but that number is probably likely to grow from 11.6 percent as we see more token unlocks but it also means that there's going to be more arbitrum on, on the market as of next month and we are going to be seeing more supply which means that the price action will have to do even more work to stay um in the green and in this growth that it's been seeing over the past couple of months so this is the calendar for token unlocks over the next few years. Um, I'm not 100% sure if <clears throat> this, if all of these are going to come into circulation or if some of these are going to be unlocked for investors, which will not be floated on the market. So what we've had to do below with the price prediction is be, you know, make a conservative estimate as to how many Arbitrum we estimate to be in circulation by the height of the next bull run when we estimate again to be around Q4 of 2025. So this is a variable that we have to, you know, make an assumption on, but we will take a look at that now as we move into the price prediction. So for our base case scenario, what we are basically saying is that the total crypto market cap in a bear, sorry, in a bear case scenario could reach about 4 trillion US dollars. Um, if Arbitrum achieves a 0.75% dominance at a 4 trillion market, uh, a 4 trillion total crypto market, <clears throat> and with that, that would give it a $30 billion market cap. Uh, what we're assuming here, and again, this is probably a little bit of an overestimation. It's probably on the safe side, but we're estimating there to be about 3.6 billion Arbitrum in circulation by Q4 of 2025. And if there are that many, again, it's likely this might be a little bit less, but edging on the side of caution or erring on the side of caution, that would give us a bear case price prediction of $8.33 for Arbitrum at a total crypto market cap of $4 trillion. Again, we have to plug in assumptions here because we cannot know all these variables. But moving on to the base case scenario, what we're saying is that the total crypto market cap could reach a peak of about $6 trillion. What we're then saying is that Arbitrum could perform slightly better and achieve a 0.85% dominance. That would give Arbitrum a total market cap of about $51 billion. And at 3.6 billion Arbitrum in circulation by Q4 of 2025, that would give us a $14.44 price per Arbitrum for our base case. And finally, moving on to the bull case scenario, what we're saying is the total crypto market cap could reach a peak of around $8 trillion. If Arbitrum performs pretty well and achieves about a 1% dominance, that would give it an $80 billion market cap and then again, with the assumption that 3.6 billion Arbitrum would be in circulation by Q4 of 2025, that would give us a $22.22 price per Arbitrum. Now, I think the biggest variable in all of these calculations is figuring out the exact amount of Arbitrum that will be in circulation by that time. Um, obviously, this is more than double the current amount of Arbitrum in circulation, but the amount of token unlocks that are going to happen between now and the end of 2025 
um, is mapped on that graph we showed above, but um, I'm not sure how many of those will actually come into circulation versus how many are going to be held by the team and treasury. So this is an estimate, but based on these estimates, um, these are our price predictions. So still a lot of room for growth and a $22 price point would give more than a 10x from today's current price and a $14.44 is almost a is almost a an 8x from today's price of definitely a 7 if not close to an 8x from today's price so um lots of interesting things with the arbitrum network i think it is definitely undervalued when we think about it in the context of some of the other projects and how much value it currently has locked up in terms of DeFi, um, it is solving a real world problem. Um, it is scalable, it is efficient, and it is um, definitely an asset I'll be keeping my eye on as we progress over the next 12 to 18 months. So as always, if you enjoy these videos, make sure to drop a thumbs up below, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification icon, and let us know in the comments, where do you think Arbitrum is going in terms of a price prediction for the height of the next bull run? If you have any ideas or any bullish sentiment, let us know where you think the price is going to get to. Um, please make sure you're subscribed. It really helps with the algorithm. And as always, we will catch you in the next one.